When we actually look at the true meaning of the ground reaction forces, what ground reaction forces are truly represented is not so much how the feet leverage the fall, which obviously they do to produce those values, but it's more so how the hands are moving in tracking through space. So we know through our nervous system, how those kind of neurological systems, or even our ancestral evolution, our survival in some ways, we learn to use our hands and eyes way in advance of how we learn to kind of walk through those kind of gait cycles. Then in many ways, our eyes drive our behaviors, where we look is where we move. It's called hand-eye coordination for a reason. The hands are following the eyes. So sequentially, in many ways, the feet follow the hands, the hands are following the eyes. So they give almost an example of how those ground forces aren't really measuring what the feet do. They're truly representing how the hands move through space. So example has been, look at, say, the medial lateral horizontal forces. What they're truly representing is more the width of the kind of hand path and almost the, 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 the arc in many ways the width of those hands in swing, those very kind of narrow kind of arcs in some ways, almost demotivate, desensitize, remove the need to produce those kind of horizontal forces. Equally so then, we then say look at vertical forces. What vertical forces are truly represented is more so how the hands and rib cage are compressing downwards. The rib cage will follow the hands in this case. So how well the hands move down, in some ways, the low point of the hands, how low those hands move in the down swing relative to their dress position, in many ways then is the motivator then to push up through the floor. So in some ways when the hands are lower down than their start position, the more we compress downwards, the more the earth shoves us backwards. So then finally the idea of torques, what the torques truly represent is more than the hand path as the player moves down. As an example being when that hand path gets along and behind someone who starts to move away, that can then remove the need to produce those torques. So torques truly represent, say for example, the hand path, those horizontal forces more the arc width, and those vertical forces actually more represent, for example, how well those hands are moving and compressing downwards. Therefore, ground reaction forces are really tracking and measuring how the hands move through swing.